you are very far. So I think we, we feel isolated and helpless. Montreal's Haitian community mobilizing in the face of the 7.2 magnitude earthquake that devastated Haiti over the weekend. Many are springing into action to help, even as some say the event has re-traumatized the community after the 2010 earthquake that killed around 250,000 Haitians. As a member of the Haitian community, uh, I've been witness, you know, all the pain that the community s suffered, you know, 10 year more, a, a bit 10 years ago when the first earthquake hit Haiti. And once again, uh, it is a kind of nightmare. I would say 20, 20 villages who, who doesn't exist anymore. So it, it's a disaster. And uh, there is, you know, when I say doesn't exist anymore, nothing, nothing's left. In the aftermath of the devastation, Haitian Montrealers say the lives of family and friends back home have been turned upside down. They didn't sleep all night. Every so often there's an aftershock of the earthquake every 10 to 15 minutes and people don't have anything to eat. Yesterday I sent money to five people. If there was a flight this morning for Haiti, I would have gone. I'd leave my business here and go to Haiti. It hurts because the people don't have money. But this earthquake different from 2010 when many didn't have cell phones and couldn't connect with loved ones. People were trying to get news from their family and their, you know, and, and from the country to see what, you know, what, what was going on. And then we start uh, saying, well, what, how, can, how can we help? A crisis committee in Montreal was created involving community leaders and local politicians working on a plan to get Haitians the supplies and help they need. First step is the emergency help. This is very important because people is on the on the on the, the blocks and, and they have to, to, to get out from there and find food, water and find a roof. Then the second phase is for probably from in, in one week or two weeks or probably a month will there will be a lot of need to, to, to rebuild. The emergency help through Red Cross uh, Canada uh, we are asking also the Canadian government uh, to be uh, collaborative with uh, to help all the materials to go to Haiti to help to save lives. And community leaders trying to ensure all the money donated makes it to the communities in Haiti. We are trying our best and trying that this time it will really get to the population. That's why we are saying that maybe if we work with the local organization on the ground, We'll try that. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.